Light from my hands destroys my enemies. Is this black power? I borrowed the power of devils, but now I can save my comrades. With this force, I'll never let them touch you. Hey everyone, Arshaka here, welcome you back to Darklad. Now, I know it's been a while since the last uh, video, it's actually been like a month and a half since I recorded uh, part 46, so my sincerest Apple jeans, it's been crazy, crazy over here. Got my own place, got a new job, it has just been, oh, wild, to say the least. But, I am finally settled in, we're gonna be ending this series off of the bang, because it's going it's been going on for just way too long at this point. So... What do you guys say? Um, I also did a, uh, <laughs> uh, to say I grinded a little bit, definitely, uh, understatement of the year. Why is that? Well, we may or may not have every single ultimate weapon in the game. Barring two, but I'll get into those at a later date. So, um, uh, real quick, uh, real quick, Xiao has the angel shooter. She is able to finally build up into the Ange Gear. Uh, that's supposed to say Angel Gear. It's a uh, game. <sighs> Localization, you never fail to amaze me. Anyway, though, uh, this is actually Xiao's like, only true ultimate weapon in the game. Now, she does have another one called the Super Steve. And uh, right now, I'm going to make note of this. I'm going to be making a video that... Uh, shows off every ultimate weapon in the game and actually goes like into more in-depth look um, into the stats and how to acquire them as well as give um, honorable mentions to other weapons that are just like either mechanically cool or are designed really neat. Um, I've actually gotten a few requests to show off different weapons that aren't ultimate weapons but just ones that people really enjoy like the look of so um, that video, I'm gonna put an annotation somewhere on the screen. You know what, let's just make it the entire screen. Uh, once that's up, I'm gonna link to that. Um, for all you mobile users, it'll also be down in the description below. Hopefully I'm not a lazy bum and just kinda like forget about it, or brush it off to the side. This is something I definitely wanna get out there as soon as possible. But, with that, we have the Ange Gear, <laughs> Angie. Uh, we have the Tall Hammer and Satan's Axe, plus six, ready to be built up into Inferno. Now I don't, okay, good. Let's go ahead, let's build this puppy up. I'm on, ooh. Ooh, it looks neat. Actually kinda looks like the, uh, oh, what, what's it called? The uh, Last Judgment, I think. I think that's what it's called. But it's like red and black, ooh. I like, this is the first time I'm actually looking at the Inferno. I approve, man. I got the Italian hand motion and everything. All right, so with Ruby, oh, and sorry. Yep, so we have Tall Hammer, the uh, other ultimate weapon. Ah, oh, excuse me. And Inferno, pretty dang possum. Now, Ruby, we have the Mobius Ring and Athena's Armlet, which is ready to be built up into the Secret Armlet. All right, so let's see. All right, and with that, they actually look like the same, except uh, one's kind of like the uh, the light slash fire based one, and the other is kind of like the uh, the cool slash moon slash smoking cigarettes in the back of the gas station one. You guys know what I'm talking about. So that's pretty all. That's pretty neat in everything. With Ungaga, we have the Hercules Wrath. This one is very special. Lord Minorly, I'm gonna go. I'm definitely gonna go into detail with that one uh, in the video. But Terror Sword is ready to be built up into Babel Spear. And again, this is another one I've never seen the design of, so let's see. Ooh! Ooh! That is one Nito Con Speedo looking. Yeah, man! Ooh! Ungaga, you got just. Ah, you got it all going on, man. And last but not least, we did already have Starbreaker for Osman, but I also got the Supernova. Pretty dang possum! Now, you guys might notice that uh, not only did I build up every single weapon to its ultimate state, uh, by the way, no broken dagger glitch, as you can tell, uh, none of the weapons have like all max stats. I did do this the legit way, or as legit as just farming for 20 hours for Martin Grains slash Martin Grains gets. But all of these weapons are also at plus five. Now, I do, um, in the other video, 
Um, I am going to be uh, getting stock footage of like using these weapons in combat. So uh, for now, I'm not going to be breaking them down. But I am going to be making synth spheres out of every weapon that I'm like not going to be uh, using. So with that, I've shown off uh, building up everyone's final weapons that they need to be built up, except for Toen's. Are you guys ready? Because this is uh, Toen's strongest sword in the game. Also, personally, my ah, uh, just design-wise, my absolute favorite, the Chronicle Sword. Ooh, hoo wee, mama. Ah, uh, just let's just take a moment. Let's get that equip out of there. Let's just oh, uh, let's just bask in the glory. That's Chronicle Sword. Oh, I just, ah, I love the sword so much. Pretty much like every Dark Cloud playthrough ends up like with this weapon for Toen. And I think for pretty good reason, man. God, I just love this weapon. Okay. All right, so yeah, we're definitely gonna be using that. Um, basically, whatever weapon's equipped is well, gonna be the weapon that I use for that character. Uh, the other weapons are the ones I'm gonna be turning into Sin Spheres. So uh, next episode, um, after this one, after I get some sock footage of uh, using all the ultimate weapons for uh, all our characters, I think I'm definitely uh, gonna take the beginning of that episode just to commemorate breaking all these down, putting them on our weapons, and just becoming just OP as all get out. So. Um, that's all I want to do for the beginning of this episode. What do you guys say? God, that was like, what, six and a half minutes? Lord almighty. Way too long. What do you guys say? We dive straight on in to, uh, to Gallery of Time. And, uh, well, let's, let's get through the, uh, fourth, fifth of the, of the dungeon. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's how it's going to go. Or fourth, uh, sixth, actually. Oh, wait, did I? I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, blunder side. Look at that. Okay, 140, 151, 162, 205. We are like picking up the pace. Are we gonna like exponentially increase? Or are we just gonna be kind of like set at 40 years or so? Better tune in to find out. But hey, remember what I said the last episode about the carpet? It's still it's still a little torn out, but definitely compared to past floors, it is just ooh man, is it improving? All right, so. Uh, wow, one hit. I, mm, I gotta say, I'm really glad that I'm like getting the chance to show off all these weapons for you guys. But I do, uh, I kind of hope that I'm not like too OP because I don't want the game to get too easy, you know. But I guess even before I got all the uh, weapons, did all that grinding. By the way, Queens uh, floor uh, 14, getting the floppy fish at uh, Rudy's uh, dang tooty uh, fish store. Definitely the way to go. Uh, but anyway, anyway. Um, also, I should not be using Osman. Um, I don't know, I feel like even before I did all that grinding, I just... Oh, oh, oh god! Oh, this is the first time we've gotten frozen. Um, when we are frozen, we're pretty much sitting ducks. Like, I I don't know if there's like a time limit for it to wear off. I do know it's pretty much one of the deadliest uh, uh, stats ailments that you can get in the game. Pretty much just because you're a freaking sitting duck. So, uh, yeah, let's definitely go ahead. Let's mighty healing it all up in his house. Um, throbbing cherries are also the other cure for that. Just, you know, if you're curious. Um, unfortunately, I'm not carrying any, so I use the much more expensive mighty healing. Eh, you win some, you lose some. Let's just go ahead, cheese it up. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, so uh, note to self, new enemy, Lich, which are just ghost clones. They can uh, give you the good old freezing. Hmm. It should also be worth noting, uh, they are very, very weak to, um, aw, decreased game, don't tease me like that. Uh, very weak to holy, so, yeah. Anyway, okay, I am gonna play through this one floor, because it has been brought to my attention that there is something we desperately need to show off. What is that? Well, you're just gonna have to hold your horses and, uh, find out, really, what it comes down to. Alright, so let's see. Just now getting the map. Are we gonna get the magic crystal? No, nope, we're gonna get a butt. Eh, could be worse. Could get an omelet. There's the crystal, okay. Oh, okay, so it's a party over in the other hallway. Duly noted. Also, this is just like, this is a dasher palooza, man. I mean, not that I'm complaining. Pretty easy enemies, but like, ah, I, I don't know, I kinda, I want more hearts, man. I want some more booty shaking, some more booty popping, booty locking. Lord knows that's why I need my life. Anyway, not for rambling. I will meet you guys uh, over in that hallway. And we are back. Oh man. 
again, I'm, I mean, this is like officially past the halfway point, so... God, this is just... It's crazy how long, or not long, but just how quickly this part of the game has just been flying by. I gotta say, I mean, I feel bad because I, uh, I, I will be the first one to admit I've taken just way too long in, in updating this project, but it is gonna feel really weird when it ends. Because I mean, this has been like, it, it's been such a big part of my channel for such a long time now, like over a year. Which again, for a, for a series that's like not even fifty parts long, way too long, way too long, but. I don't know, I'm still, I'm, I'm gonna be like, I hope I don't like cry or something when I finish it. I'm gonna be totes honest, man. I, I'm a wuss when it comes to, to not crying. Oh God, Lich, you are God. Why am I even calling you Lich? You're definitely Lick. Definitely Lick. Ah, <sighs> I don't know. Omelette, you know what? Bring you in my life. You're a, you're pretty nice uh, Mountain Dew Whiteout omelette. Pretty scrumptious. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. Uh, Mr. James, Mr. Uh, Mr. Beard Assassin, has brought it to my attention that I've not shown the Osmond Nope. Ah, he's just like, all right, all right. You're serious, dude. Yo, <laughs> look here, man. You trying to make me put a water into a clock head? To a clock head? I do not think that is the proper course of action we should be taking. Here. Let me tell you a thing. Let me tell you something right now. Osmond, I feel you, bro. I am so sorry that I'm putting you through this. Just, can we just... God, he's just... He's like the ultimate sass master. The ultimate sass master. God. Osmond. Can you just, like, be my spirit animal? Pretty sure his answer is yes. Alright, so, with that, um... I'll be completely honest. I don't know if there are going to be any new enemies shown on the next floor. I feel like there aren't. I feel like there aren't, but uh, knowing me, there probably will be. Until then, though, I will go ahead. Oh, there it is, <laughs> Blizzard. All right, so uh, pretty much a uh, good old Yeti, because uh, Lord knows we need that in our lives. Um, I do believe he will be weak to fire, so I will definitely go ahead and ooh, we're even maxed out on fire, even better. Probably a uh, one hit with Ungaga. Who? Gooba. Oh, what? God, that hitbox, man. So many shenanigans were had that day. One hit, Ungaga, man, you are too good. And I can't believe I'm saying that. Although, okay, before, before I speed up, I need to do, ugh. It is Ungaga PSA time. All right, so uh, normally playing through the game, I have always neglected Ungaga just because his beginning weapons, I'll be completely honest, they suck. They are just absolutely terrible. He is super weak. He has like no endurance. He has like no speed, so it takes forever for a speed, speed bar to recharge. And all, he is just a very crappy character when you first get him. But man, if you actually have the patience to build him up, he is a major force to be reckoned with. Like, like, dude, he, okay, I, I think he attacks like slower than Toen. But seriously, I really don't think the difference is enough to, like, really even be... Blizzard, you... Ooh. 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 You okay there, Blizzard? I I feel like the answer is a, a good, hearty, uh, nope. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, he needs to calm down. Anyway, he's slower than Toen, but honestly, I think the difference is just so, like... Uh, the, like, fine that or not fine that what's the word I'm looking for? I think they, I think the difference is so discreet that it really doesn't make that big of a difference. But what does make a difference is his range. Because honestly, like, the range characters in this game are just so much more powerful than... Yeah. <clears throat> really? Yeah, we're, we're doing this? Hold on, let me, uh, let me... Seizure party! I was glad, uh, that was a nice moment, man. I am, ah, oh, I'm so glad we shared that. Now you die. Hello, my name is King Blizzard. I uh, shake my body for you. Oh, you kill me. Yep, I'm bringing that back. Anyway, <laughs> will I ever be able to finish that? Uh, nope. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, Ungaga, right. Okay, so range characters in, the, in this game are just 
like stupidly powerful because uh, like a lot of this game is um, like reacting to things and like having the proper spacing and uh, like knowing when to you know either stray for or block or whatever. So I will I will be the first to admit using the range characters in this game is way more fun and I would even argue like a lot more satisfying than using the range characters. But but using the range characters is just always such a safer option because like yeah they do more damage if you get closer to the enemy. But it's not required, and they barely lose any WHP, like no matter the distance. So, um, I mean, it's really hard to die using a ranged character, and I know I have in the past, so I know I'm like a total hypocrite for saying it. But just in general, like playing with the ranged characters is definitely playing with easy mode. So, where does like Ungaga come to play? Well, he's a melee character, so you definitely still have to worry about the spacing and the timing, or about like when to block and when to move around and stuff. But he he's still like. He has less a risk of getting hit because for a melee character, he has a ridiculous range. Like the hitbox on his weapons is just like so much bigger than I feel they they look, if that makes any sense. Which I don't know, to me just makes him really satisfying to use because again, you still get the fun, like actual combat mechanics of the game, but you have less a chance of like actually dying to the enemies, especially later in the game when they take off like half your HP bar in one hit. I mean, like even killing that Rose, like, okay, the Rose was like right here. I was literally like right there. And I mean, just look how big that is. He has such a huge hitbox for a melee character, especially compared to Toen and especially compared to Goro who just can't do Jack Diddly Squat. I mean, if you're playing as Goro, you are pretty much always spamming that charge attack. There's really not a whole lot else you can do. Because the wind up on his stacks is just way, way too slow. So anyway, that's my spiel. Um, all that just to say, like, yeah, at first, I really, I hated using Gaga, But after this Let's Play, I can be, I will, without a doubt, just be a firm believer in him. You know, he's, uh, he's like the Magikarp of Dark Cloud. You know, he just, he sucks, man. He, he might as well just be flopping around on the ground like a, like a blizzard or a, like a heart, you know, you know. But man, like you put you put enough love into him, you you fill him with your ogre love, and he will just, ah, oh, he will proclaim that you are love, you are life all the days. And I am just gonna leave it at that because uh, we do not need any of that on our channel. I'm just saying. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna say oh, you know, now that I'm done being on my soapbox, I'm just gonna speed up. But we literally have one more enemy. Probably not the best time to do that, so... God, I just, guys, I... Uh, I love this guy. Uh, I love the Chronicle Sword, man. Uh, Sword of Zeus, also, uh, design-wise, pretty cool. Uh, Seventh Heaven was actually my very first ultimate weapon, so uh, it definitely holds a very uh, special place in my heart, but... God, Chronicle Sword. Ugh. Bees knees if I ever saw them. Alright, so... Uh, let's go ahead, let's use the clock face, and let's go ahead... Unless, of course, we run into another new enemy. Let's officially begin this beat up. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh god, okay, okay, new enemy, new enemy. That was, god, that's, that's gonna be a really fast speed up. Uh, or not fast, but uh, quick. You get, ah, god, you guys know what I'm talking about. Also, ooh, only one and a drink. Okay. Alright, okay, alright, okay, alright. So, Alexanders, uh, they are Mask of Progenus on freaking roids, man. Okay, because, for starters, they, they just move and attack way faster than their Mask of Progeny counterparts. They've just spit freaking fireballs, man. I, whatever they're eating, I went double, because I am quite the uh, spicy food affectionado, if I do say so myself, which of course I do. Um, but God, these guys, they are, they are nasty. They are nasty business. They bad kitties, bad kitty kitties, bad kitty kitties. So I realized I've not used Goro like at all. <laughs> I really, like I've been trying so hard this, this last play to like not neglect people. Also, did you guys just see that that one attack hit that blizzard twice? Goro, girl, y'all need to calm down now. Anyway, though, 
God, Alexanders, um, I don't necessarily hate them. Um, I actually kind of like them because I, I think they present like a genuine challenge and I wish a lot more of the, um, oh, oops. I wish a lot more of the, uh, like retextures of the enemies in this game, like had that formula where they were pr like pretty much the same as their, uh, their other brethren, except they just like moved faster and attacked harder. I would not mind that because I mean, I'll be honest, a lot of the enemies in this game can be kind of pushovers, like, <laughs> pathetic. Um, but Alexander's R case, just like the, um, oh, uh, just like the iron golems or the, the souls, you know, the ones that are pretty much the golems, but they just attack way faster. It, I wish there were more types of those kinds of enemies in this game, uh, because I just, I feel like it would make fighting the enemies a lot more fun too. So I'm actually, um, I don't know, when games like reuse assets like just recoloring enemies, I'll be honest, sometimes it can like really irk me, but really it only irks me if the enemies themselves are just like carbon copies with like more HP. Um, you know, but like if, if the developers actually like change up how the enemies work, whether they're, you know, moving faster or have slightly altered attacks, I'm like totally down for that. Like I, I like that kind of stuff because yeah, it's recycling it. But it's still like changing up your expectations of the enemy, and still like, kind of ch. You you Blizzard people, you guys are just a hoot, man. I, if I ever have a birthday party and you guys uh, end up becoming like sentient being beings spawned from my imagination, you are so invited to my parties. I mean, these guys know how to dance. Say what you will, I don't care who you are, don't care who your grandpappy is or is not. Also, living armor. Uh, dude, I'm over here. Over here. I, I don't... What is up with all these enemies, man? What are they even doing? <laughs> God dang. Anyway... Yeah, they're they're invited to my birthday party. That's that's what I was saying. But no, seriously. Um. Uh, basically, just, I don't know. As long as the developers actually, like, do something to change it up, I, I can usually be okay with like recycled enemies and locations and stuff like that. Uh, part of the reason why I really, uh, for the most part, um, so far I've been really enjoying Skyward Sword because even though, yeah, you go to the same locations, it, it, it kind of reminds me of like Metroidvania because you get to do new stuff in the locations you go back to, you know? Huh, I'm doing like a lot of spiels this episode. What is even my deal? I don't know. Anyway, back to the speed up. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Another oh god, we just dealt oh. We just dealt with one of these man. Ugh. Aim. Ooh! Another new enemy. Man, they are just they're just throwing all these reskins at us. What are what is even happening? Ooh. Ooh, first enemy! <laughs> yeah. God, it's like the best feeling in the world. Okay. Yeah, Black Dragon, I am having none of yo close up poop. <laughs> you know. Again, melee combat, definitely more satisfying, but when it comes to the dragons, ah, I ain't having none of that. Mm-mm. Anyway, though, black dragons, uh, you guys know the drill. We've already fought, like, two, three other ones. I lost track. They just, they really like their dragon things. How are those even really dragons, though? I feel like those would be, like, really big Komodo dragons. You know, that's kind of the vibe I get from them. You guys know what I'm saying? Yeah.
right, and with that, we only have seven or eight more floors to go. Uh, something like that. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching me play. Like, seriously, I, I mean that from, like, I don't know, the bottom of my heart. Especially, I mean, Simba, well, you agree with me, man, right? All these people watching, they are just the bum diggity. His, he, he's nodding in silent approval. That's that's just kind of his thing. Just, just go with the guys. Again, thank you all so much for watching me play. I will see you in the next one when we make synth spheres out of all these dang fangled ultimate weapons, put them on our stuff, be just become pretty much as OP as it gets, and all in all just have a you know, pretty decent time. You know? Like 7.8 out of 10, a little too much water. But all in all, still a, still a good experience nevertheless. Till then, I will see you next time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that is so cool! I had no idea- Guys, the- the licks like creep up on you! Oh my god. It, and they don't like outright attack you like the other enemies, they'll just- They'll just sneak behind- Oh god, okay, no, okay, wait, is he? Is he? Oh, okay, now he's coming up to me. Guys! Oh, that is so cool! Okay, wait, 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 so if I go like this, will he actually- does that like reset his AI to to just sneak around? Oh my god, guys! Okay, again, I know this episode's long, but I had no idea. Oh, that is. Oh my god, I had no idea they did that. Oh man, comment below if you okay if you knew that the licks did that or the liches. What? How the heck do you even pronounce her name? Like, let me know, cause I wow. I'm genuinely proud. That is such a neat little thing of polish, because, I mean, they're based off the ghost, which are supposed to be kind of, like, spooky and kind of, like, you know, sneaking up on you. Oh, that is, that is so neat. Okay, okay, anyway, uh, goodbye. <laughs> that is all. Drunk with victory, I return to the castle. We will meet again. It comes sooner than expected. Simply seeing you revives my spirit. How could I realize you, the imposter, the one who would take my life?